Hello everyone, Gabriel here, and today we are going to learn how to use the new Accounts Playable Wizard on the Job Wizard inside ChronosCAD. The first step is to run the Job Wizard, and I'll name it Accounts Playable Wizard Job. Okay. And when we click on Next, we can see on the bottom of the window the Generate Invoices Accounts Payable application. I will just click on it so we can start the wizard. The first step is on the first button here, import supplier data from a, an external database. That would be a company database or our company database on this case. I will click on it, on it and then we can start setting up our database connections. The first step is to actually set up the database connection. I will just click on select data source here and then on the databases button. You can see I already have a configuration here. I'll just create it again so you can see it. I'll click on add, name it, my company database. And now I can set it up. I will select the JET module so I can select my access file on my computer. And then I'll click on test connection to make sure it's okay, it is good. Now I can click okay and test it inside current scan. I will select it and click on check connection. It is connecting okay. So I can now just click on close. Now to select the data source, I have to choose the database connection I just created and then the table I want to use. You can see the master vendors table have some information about my suppliers. So that's perfect. You can just select the table you need from your own database. Now I can click OK. And as you can see, for the target table, we have the chrono suppliers table. We can change it by clicking on select target table and selecting another table here. We can create a new one if we need, but for usually the chrono suppliers is enough. You can see I already have some data on it. I'll just clean it out before importing using the empty target table before importing option. But before I start importing, I have to click on view fields. Now, since I will be using the VAT number on our documents as our master key, I'll set the link type as lookup key and import it into the company ID, which is the master key field. I will also import supplier as import field into the name. We could use other fields, but since we have VAT numbers in pretty much every document, I will just use those two because that should be enough. Before I click on execute import, I'll just click on the save as button because we will need to run this configuration when we get new data from our company database into ChronoScan and I will name it AP Wizard Config and then click OK. And now I can click on execute import. As you can see, we had 15 records imported and zero updated. Now, when you run it again, as you add data to your, to your company database, you probably just want to update data if already exists. Select this option and click on execute. It will tell you how many were updated and how many were imported. I'll just click OK and close here. That will automatically save our configuration. Now the second step is to convert supplier data into IntelliTags. That will get all the supplier information I just imported and convert it automatically to IntelliTags. I'll just click here, click yes, and now everything will be imported. Now I can use those other options. I don't really need them. A very important one is the import valid invoice numbers by supplier codes and that button will take us to another database connection kind of window where you can import valid invoice numbers is if you have them on your database and ChronoScan will create automatic masks for your invoice numbers. 
I will also change the currency to Euro. And then I'm ready to click OK. And the job will be created. Let's create our first batch. AP Wizard Batch 1. And then click on Create Batch. Now I'll just import the first document. Since this is only a tutorial, so we can see how the IntelliTags work. I'll click on the document and process it. And as the document is processed, we will see the information, especially the supplier information, being created here. We can see the supplier name is Blueberry, and that's actually a Blueberry invoice. It also captures the invoice number and we can validate it using this button. I'll just click here and the rest of the data is pretty much captured. So that's it guys. I hope you liked this tutorial and I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.